Hello, welcome back to Retropolis. Time for our uh, 430 Builder Plus flattening. I'm gonna go back to random. Let's do it. How you feeling about it today? I, you know. You know. <laughs> it's funny because in a very small amount of time, Builder Plus and Monster Train have, or Retropolis and Monster Train have switched positions on my channel. It used to be Monster Train was pretty inconsistent. I was only, I was winning only every now and then in Monster Train. Does the game look zoomed out? Am I insane? Why does this look so weird? But it used to be Monster Train was the game that I was only winning occasionally in, and Retropolis, I was on that big tear. And now it is flipped. I am just getting absolutely rolled by this game. I don't think that that's something to be ashamed of. Of course, I've said many times. I think that this is like I, I don't I don't think that it's an opinion. I think that it's basically just I, I it's hard for you to look at this game mode and offer me anything other than this is the hardest thing in this game by a large margin. Just fine. It's a nice challenge. Nice early farm. I'm gonna try not paying my redraw cost here. We're just gonna wait. I'm gonna try a new strategy because I feel like building up money in this game mode doesn't even really matter that much because I, I'm never going to turn that money surplus into a infinite amount of cash, right? So I'm just gonna try and take it slow. I'm gonna play a lot slower here. I'm gonna change the style. Save up the money, bank it up like this slowly instead because I think we're just actively losing money spamming redraws now. I'm gonna maybe remove rent but it seems okay. I'll take a house. Can I rent these? No. I don't think so because they're not interactable but still. The in another interesting thing is that with this way that the way that I'm opening here where I'm playing just the single guard it's uh it takes the the merchant longer to show up is what I'm trying to get to. Could just cloak our walls and just let them in and just be like, all right, take me away. I feel like land tax is probably the best economy card in this game mode. Uh, wall taxes has a theoretical higher of value, but it's hard to see it. But yeah, hope you're doing well today. I'm doing well. I'm really, you know, I, I may seem a little down. I've been, I've been trying to watch some of my content and like get a feel, try to figure out where I can improve. And I feel like Retropolis is the game where I, oh, another landlord. I've been so fortunate with these landlord pickups. I feel like this is a game where I often, if I'm not doing well, just get real like frustrated. And why is that? It's because sometimes the game feels unfair. Occasionally the game feels a little unfair, but you know, it's fine. I, I, positivity only, is what I would like to say, however I am a little baby. No, I'm not, I'm fine. Like I, what the fuck, double fire station? I wanna actually try playing double fire station out. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna stack them. But I'm gonna play this out because it feels like, oh my goodness, the plague. I mean, I think we just eat the purificate. I feel like I have to. This will just kill me, like there's no answer. An advisor gives me messenger, plague rat, plague spitter. Cool, cool. Maybe I should take slingers from this position. Yeah. Basically, I'm fine. I'll if if I don't like, I can see myself just kind of giving up on this game mode. Is what I'm gonna say. I can I can see myself just kind of being like, all right, I don't feel like cause with military leader plus and uh, the other option. I was. What was it? Merchant Plus? I was very much just like, alright, we're gonna play this until I feel like I've gotten a good handle on it. I have a good handle on this game mode. It's impossible. Like, there's no consistency here. There's just no way. I'm gonna greed. Uh, I'm gonna greed. I'm gonna not pay. But I'm gonna have to start paying really quickly here. Like, this is what we, we, I guess you save up your money for an emergency like this, right? This is the end times. We're a bad roll or two away from just absolutely dying here. From being a memory. Like, th this opener I do not feel bad about losing. This is a fucked start. Absolutely. Getting plague, getting... Uh, just, just just getting plague, like, right? Just getting the plague is just bad. Plague when you have no real army to defend you is just doomed. This merchant's gonna have to have something pretty sweet. Like, he's gonna need to have something that just single-handedly saves the run. 
I think I could try to be microing. I think I need to do this, actually. This is an amount of micro that's probably needed. Alright, buddy, what do you got for me? Yeah, I wouldn't say any of this saves the run. Catapult does, kind of, but it is very hard for me to see myself getting this building down in time. I guess I'll hit the blueprint and hope that it gives me something winning. You got for me. Vine Launcher is not winning. Okay. I'm pretty sure Death Approach is very, very swiftly here. Having to play a Catapult here feels like one of the worst plays of my life. Oh, you can't rent the rock when the wall is broken. Interesting. This is like the same shop, I feel like. It's not, but it feels similar. My units are confused. And that's not good. I mean, I got a micro, you could have any chance, right? This little micro thing that we can do here is kind of cool, though, I gotta say. Uh, too bad I rented out the repair station. Come on. Uh, we're dead. Yeah. This one, this one was pretty doomed. Like, from getting- I honestly feel like getting the Plague Event Wave 3 is just, like, give up the run in this game mode. In other, like, in some some runs you can survive it, this was not one of them. You need something to keep you alive. I, I even, t it's to the point there where I'm like, yeah, was there anything I could have done there? No. Like, I really, I really don't think there's anything you can do on that run. That run is pretty much unwinnable from a f wave three plague. Maybe you take the rats and it's okay, but it's not. I guess pay to redraw sooner and try to build up a stronger army so you can take the rats, but like... I just, I really doubt it. I really, really doubt it. Powder keg. I just, I can't play this here. It's, there's, if they break through this wall and break that powder keg, we're already dead. Interesting. But yeah, I guess, I guess we gotta build up an early army here. Maybe we have a strong economic start at least. I don't know. And I guess I just stop, right? Once I've built out my army and I'm maxed out on population, I guess we just press the stop button. I feel like I'm not going to be making enough money off of these redraws with all the garbage in the deck. Paying 30 to get, I mean, you know, get a redraw like that and then I'm proven wrong, but still. I guess we'll see. Ugh. Leader ability level up. I, I feel like blueprinting into strong buildings is the secret strategy I need to be doing. Like it, it's it's a it's an interesting strategy, right? How about I just uh, get good buildings? What do you think of that one? All right, all right, yeah, look at that. Just get good buildings. Like it's real easy. It's actually so easy. This game mode is free. Just get a good building. <laughs> Wave one flame tower. Don't mind if I fucking do. All right. So what we're gonna do here? I've been thinking about this line of reasoning. If you get a strong building like this early on, I think that what you want to do is just move all of your units away from the side you play it. Take the houses. And then you just have this building hold this side. Now there is a slight risk of it getting infected. I don't think it should be that bad, but with this rock in this position, I might just like not be able to. We'll see. And we, but we do get a rock to rent, look at that. And I can rent that building out when it's uh, not use in use, not being used. Ignite on the flame tower. I'll take an extension here. It's like, it's shaky. Oh, sorry, I accidentally clicked off the screen. This game actually, it's interesting. It doesn't lock your cursor, which I always find strange. I wonder why. I, I guess like, it's fine, right? I'm okay with games not locking your cursor like this, but it's still just kind of odd, I've always thought. Watchtower over here? I mean, you, it's already, like, we're already fucked up against this wall, so it's fine to put another thing down. Oh, hey. I guess I have to put some militia over there, or else this wall, that wall's just gonna get jumped over and we're gonna die. Alright, cool. An interesting one. Rat in the box would be cool as well. I really, I think that the builder is significantly harder on hard than any of the other ones, just because of the rocks. But the rocks just interfere so much. So, so much. I'm gonna try an interesting change to my planning here. I'm gonna remove guards. It's interesting, it's strange, it's different, it's something spicy, right? Because back in the day, this was my strat. 
all the way back. I used to, I used to first card removal always went to guards, and I would just play a ton of militia as my defense force. And I feel like because the reason you keep guards in the deck right now is because they scale, right? You put something down to augment their attack. They have high attack speed. They, uh, you stack up like twenty of them, they kill everything. However, in this game mode, since there's no way to scale them, they don't do that. Now, obviously, uh, they still do something, but I don't know. Maybe they don't. We're moving Potter. We're going to try going down to six cards of grain, rent three cheeses, and a militia. Fire rat. Oh, buddy. Yeah, absolutely. We're going we're gonna to try a little difference here. I'm going to try some, try some new stuff, because what I'm doing is clearly not working. Slamming my head into the wall going, why doesn't this work, is clearly not working, so let's try some other stuff. Like finding good buildings. Yeah, like Cheese Market. Oh god, like Cheese Market. <laughs> I feel like your scaling up plan is actually going to be Scorpion, though, but like, okay, we gotta be careful, I don't have a ton of money. The other big mistake I've been making, I think, is just trying to, uh, like, take too much early. Land tax I'm going to keep buying. I feel like it got a lot better with the addition of walls to its uh, credit. Uh, we need to micro you guys back. Cool little trick to use for yourself against spitters to uh, have a bit of a better chance of keeping all your guards. For what it's worth, which is quite a bit. Although I might have just died. Ah, uh, my man. He lived. What a hero. What a legend. He did it. He saved the day. Cause like if he died there, it was just straight up over. My man. Lumber mill and mo. Lumber mill's worth a lot. We're gonna be playing a lot of buildings. Watchtower. I will take this. We're getting a lot of buildings here. Like this is really, really good. We're getting a lot of. We're getting a lot of defensive buildings here. Wait for it. There we go. So this is the moment of truth. But since this is upgraded, it just crushes them with fire. Right on. Yeah. So it's a little it's a little odd, but it's okay, it feels like. I don't know. I'm not the most confident. Take shooting range. Make these watchtowers better. I'm not super confident, but I'm not like th this is one of the stronger positions we've been in. In recent memory, so I don't think it's hopeless anyway. Unfortunately, shooting range and flame tower don't work together because this isn't a defensive building. But these watchtowers going up to 8 is actually a pretty strong breakpoint for the next, like, four waves. And shooting range is good always. Like, we're gonna end up on a defensive building plan, it feels like. Because if you're not playing defensive buildings, what are you playing as this man? We're gonna try expanding aggressively. Even though we have buildings in place, defensive buildings in place. I feel like the answer to that is just, uh, you know, we'll expand in one direction while keeping the defensive buildings in the other direction, and then once the right side is handled, we'll do the same to the left side. Because right now this right side is going to be living on an army plan instead of anything else. Jeez, market. <laughs> uh, yeah. Take reinforce. It's a good card. Theoretically speaking, if I just reinforce this wall, I'll win this side forever, right? I'm pretty sure if I just play reinforce on this wall enough times, I'll win. Let's start doing that. And we'll expand to the right. Oh yeah, that's amazing. Wall taxes is kind of interesting. I just I feel like it's hard to make that card work. The more and more that I play with it, it's like, this isn't going to do anything for me for a very long time. And when it does do something for me, it's probably going to be too late anyway. What else do you have? You have a wall that I want. Alright. I'm gonna take money here, I think, just to get our economy back off the ground. You start to fall behind, it's not a bad idea to take money. Second cheese market's good. We're gonna be expanding in that direction. I'm gonna put the catapult over here. I'm just gonna keep playing buildings over here, I think. This cheese market just needs to be hit right now, because then these will sync up. Cool. Number three in that direction. Okay. It's fine. It's not great, but like it's okay. 
Losing this one watchtower is no big deal. I'll just remodel it or remove it later. Preferably with a demolish, but you know. Take what you can get. Here we got the nice number. No, that's not the nice number. 69 is the nice number, 420 is the weed number. Sometimes I get them mixed up. Pole was really pretty good. We'll need a few more active buildings for it. What do we got? We got nine cars. We're drawing seven per round. Could just take another land tax. I mean, it feels weird to be taking multiples of the same card, but... You know. It is what it is. We can lose taxes here. It's fine. So our right side's definitely weak. It's taken the easier wave, at least. Hopefully I don't die after saying this is the easier wave. It reinforced gets a lot better with the Silent as well. You get more cards for it. This should be the easier wave, but this wave might also just be death. If they if this guy still did AoE, this would be an over. Like we'd be over. Absolutely. So the, probably the best economy card to pick up is gonna be charcoal. And catapult. Looks like playing catapult that far back is just uh not great. Seems like that might be pushed forward, or just like, you know, demolition please. Every builder plus run, demolition please. Upgrade reinforce, I'm just gonna take High Priestess, honestly. A lot of these runs are like, oh if only I had a little more time, High Priestess is often a little more time. Could have gone for the 50-50 upgrade, but if it misses fire rat, I'm just sad. Okay. Uh, actually, I'll just blueprint for three here. Another lumber mill. I'm gonna stack that. I'll take the smithy, and then I don't have enough money for the fishery, and I have no interest in it either. So this wall's at 728. There are no longer enemies that jump walls, so the only thing that breaks these walls or breaks us now is uh, like building hits. But the flame tower should be far enough back that that doesn't happen. So the only thing that theoretically breaks us now is. I guess just like not enough damage output. Or if I'm wrong and the, the, the flame tower does get hit and break, that'll be the end. These markets are done. I think we still have three cheese, right? So there should be two in here. Yeah. Oh, wait. Charcoal would be a fine pickup for this. A, a fine addition to this run, if you will. We want to keep expanding. Hey, we actually hit another cheese. Look at this. Wait for it. Ah, just missed it. Oh, is my gold. Granary, no farm. First time I've seen granary in like forever, but I have no farm for it, unfortunately. Very sad about that. I think we're gonna go ahead and remove militia now. And then I mean this is a big this is a big payday coming in here. Unfortunately our taxes are low, so we have to wait a while. But, you know. This is a pretty nice looking hand here. There we go. So we're at 63. And now we're at 633. Nice. Roughly 600 gold. I put my boys too far back. I guess it's fine, because they'll just walk up and get to use the wall as protection. Don't need a card. None of these are that good to donate. I'm gonna get rid of grain. The population's a little, little thin now. Land tax and rent are gonna be fine. And this. Keep reinforcing this wall. Yeah, they get to use the wall as a buffer here, I think. Yeah, look at that. Nice. The so oil storages would be nice. Uh, a few extensions for the cheese markets wouldn't be bad either. There's a lot of things we can find that would be fine here. Like, I'll take a few extensions for these cheese markets. The double land tax feels pretty strong. Reinforce this wall just so it doesn't get sniped. Because if that wall gets sniped, I lose like all of these fire rats and we fall so far behind. Our end goal here is just to get some defenses at this wall. I think it's best. I didn't really consider this too hard. This wall's getting sniped anyway. This boss uh, offers us a bit of trouble here, I would imagine. Uh, reinforce the wall to buy us a little more time again. But yeah, this, this guy is going to cause us some trouble, I believe. Break that. This isn't the wrong fire station, right? No. 
Well, I think the best upgrade here is Fire Rat. Right, but I'm thinking about what if we, like, there's... What if I just upgrade cheese? You ever think about that? We got the double cheese market. What if I just upgraded cheese? Or land tax. I feel like we're okay on money, though. Upgrade Fire Rat. Reinforce also worth considering. Fire Rat feels good, though. There's only a finite number of Fire Rats I get to play. Hopefully we don't die on the way to uh, to playing them all. I'm gonna look for a building here. Oil storage. Hey, that's a good building here. Yeah, I would argue that that's a pretty strong one. And I guess I'll put down this lumber mill. More lumber mill good. Uh, fishery seems like fun. I have the money for it. Putting down buildings is good. More buildings equals more money. Now... Uh, thankfully, we actually have this fallback position here with the watchtower. I'm gonna pay. Right, this is what we do. We say we use the saved up money that we've earned to afford to hopefully retrieve a strong position. Why did I say it like that? Am I okay? Cheese markets are done. Repairman. If there's not something really good here, I'm gonna grab Repairman. Although these buildings are both very good. Trebuchet just answers a lot of waves. Like, this is a strong boss killer. I'm gonna hold tight. Hang it in there. And he's doing what he can over here, my poor man. He's giving it his all. I think I need to just full send a reinforcement here. Yeah, I need to pay. Hey, don't break my... don't break that lumber mill. This is, this is what you have High Priestess for, though. We're a little behind, but we're, we can stabilize if I just live. So we grab High Priestess in case I can't stabilize. She'll stay, she forces stabilization. I'm gonna roll this. I can fire at, doesn't feel great. None of this feels that good. Pass it. I have nowhere to put this trebuchet, unfortunately. I just, I need them to stop coming from the right side for a little bit. Uh, we can, was it three? It's five cheeses here, I believe. Yeah. That's a lot of money. We're like, we're, we're closing in on stable, which is weird. I'm gonna give it a rent at this point. I think that is no longer particularly worth it. Did that guy just, one of my civilians just walked into fire and died. It's like raiding in WoW all over again. Holy shit. Oh God, I'm flashing back. No, God, how hard is it? No, please. No, no, don't stand in the fire. Just, oh, uh, no, you just gotta DPS the boss. Ah. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Oh. All right, I just, all right. It was, it was, I was 2016 again. I was playing Legion, and everyone was just sprinting it. Everyone on my, everyone on my raid team was just running it down. No, don't stand on top of me for Gahoon, please. Deep breath, it's gonna be okay. Look at these two, they're actually just tearing it up here. I think that the forest is easier. I really, really, really want to not die to this boss, though. Like, we've been behind for a while. I would like to get back to a position of power here. I'm going to do that by just repairing these and playing out fire rats. No trebuchet for now, we're just gonna chill. Oh, two cheese markets. Don't mind if I do. Let's see, look at this, the lumber mills have made all of these buildings free. I'm gonna remove all... No, I'm not going to remove it. I feel like our deck is fine as it sits. I'm going to take a house. I have no enough space for it, but that's okay. These cheese markets are going to be placed and broken, but that's okay. It's the cost of stabilizing here. What you got for me? A slum? No way. I will upgrade. Upgrading the trebuchet takes it up to 225, which is so much damage. That, like, that kills everything. Grab the, I'm gonna grab the reinforce upgrade, though. The damage shouldn't matter if we reinforce the walls enough. I'm gonna plan a fallback position. I gotta start stacking houses, I just don't have the, the numbers for them. And these cheese markets are breaking. They're just gonna be here until we're stable. Like we're we're not we're not moving from this spot until we have reached a position I feel comfortable in. That's the fishery fish up for me. Another fishery, look at that. What a catch. Alright. 
as you can see, there are many enemies approaching me at this current moment. Uh, I think that with four fire rats, if I can get like one more down, I'll feel a little better. I'm just gonna full reinforce here. Yeah, they should barbecue this whole wave for us though. And they won't break down this wall. The problem is this ranged boy, but he shouldn't be a big deal. All right. All of these buildings break, but that's okay. It was to be expected. I just, I really need them to not come from the right side for a little bit. I need time to expand. But they're not giving it to me. Messenger? Builders Guild Library Nourishment. I will probably never in my life pick Nourishment. I'm gonna grab a Territory Expansion for the right, or the left side. I obviously can't do it over here. But having that buffer wall on the left side is actually really good. Stacking the enemies up so they all get crushed by fire is good. Public Bath for a little more time. Hmm. Wall taxes feels underwhelming. I kind of want to take Lurker here. I feel like he falls off like crazy. It's just any buildings I'm placing down right now, I can't defend as it sits. I'm going to roll because we want to look for some defensive buildings. I just I saw, was it 14 cards and five of them were Lurker? Five out of 14 of the cards I saw were this one? Doesn't seem right. Drawing studio. I'm gonna wait on these cheese markets until I can repair these so that I can sync it all up. The territory expansion is just gonna go to upgrading houses because I have no space. And we want this wall to go over here. You didn't have anything else, right? No. Egg, no, thank you. My lumber mill. I'll play some fire rats. Got it, it's actually, they're just keep, they just keep coming from the right side. Uh, my left side's the strong side, and they just keep hitting me on the right side. What can I do? The answer is not much. Complain. Pray. One of those. I just, I can't, I can't stop them. And I can't build up my fire rats because they keep hitting me on this side. It's so sad. So sad. Take a watchtower here. Just, I can't, I can't do anything. I can't do anything right now. I'm just kind of sitting here. I have all of this to do, but I can't do any of it right now. A warehouse? A powder keg right here seems cool. Give it a shot. But again, you know, left side's super strong, right side's feeling a little weak. What can I do? I just have to keep reinforcing this wall and hoping that they stop hitting me over here eventually. I'm gonna upgrade the trebuchet? I mean, shit, I've had this in my hand for so long now. I, just, I can't, right? I can't expand. I can't do anything. They keep hitting me on the right. What am I to do? I have no good answers here. It's just a little, a little doomed. Not super doomed, just a little doomed. I'm gonna super reinforce this wall. Now it would have been a good idea for land tax or wall taxes. Offering grain? That's weird. I'm gonna throw a rat in the box over here as well. This seems cool. Like, the left side is the dream, right? And the right side is the nightmare. This is like, this is Builder Plus in a nutshell right here, though. The left side is fucking sweet, right? We got all of these cool things going on. We got all of these buildings working together. Look at that. And then on the right side, it's just like, yeah, I have one watchtower and a wall that I reinforced a lot. I'm having a good time. All of my units are dying, but they keep hitting me on the wrong side. What can I do? At least the boss is coming from the left side, which is, in this case, the right side for me. Left side, right side, see what I'm doing there? This is painful. Like, this hurts me. It really, it just hurts. We're almost through. Alright, <laughs> we made it. Flame Tank Factory. I'm really underwhelmed by Flame Tanks. It seems very difficult to, I guess you gotta upgrade them. I'm just, uh, you know, maybe I'll give it a shot. And then, oh, another flame tower. All right, there's a chance. I'm not even going to look over there right now. I don't have time to think about that. Uh, trebuchet is fine to go there. I'm going to wait on uh, anything else though. Cloaking station is kind of cool. It's a good pickup for a long term when we see a building we want. I want a wall as well for the right side. Okay. We are getting somewhere. 
blueprint, please. Scorpion factory lumber mill. I can stack this lumber mill, right? Didn't I play one? Yeah, it's right here. It's broken. I put like three of these. Oh. Scorpion factory is way too late. I checked this, right? What did you have? Runes park? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. Pretty sure this boss never breaks me here. Because he does very low damage to the walls. I don't think he'll ever get through. So we're just going to keep expanding right side right now. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of space left in the colony to work with. I want to wait to repair these. No, I don't want to wait. It's fine to go now. Okay. And then I fire off these cheese markets, play them out. I'm going to throw it on the drawing studio. I have nowhere to put it. Huh. I think that this side isn't moving from here. I'll trebuchet. Alright. It's, uh, it's strange. We're alive, but it's strange. I'll take the bounty. We have 23 population not in use. Counting is pretty good for money. Uh, another shooting range is cool, but it doesn't work with fire. So it doesn't do a whole lot for us. I'll just take the money. It's like there's a lot going on, and it's all kind of just fucked. It feels like to me. I feel like I'm just kind of sitting here hoping they give me a demolition. Be able to remove that rock or something. So what is it? Cloaking Station is 2 space, and I believe the Earthquaker is 2 space, but I can't remember. I guess I'll just stack the Cloaking Stations, upgrade this thing. And we almost have enough income now. So I think if I play this here and stack it, it'll hit the Earthquaker for me. I need that house. Like this, right? Oh fuck, it cloaks that wall. Ah, shit. I didn't know it was gonna cloak that wall. I guess that's not that big of a deal. It just kinda sucks. I need to reinforce this wall at max capacity here. And we'll see if this is enough. If this is like this is something that I feel like is replicatable, so I feel like if this wins, then uh, there's like a sort of a line to winning Builder Plus more consistently here. Powder keg is worthless because it'll be cloaked. Where did I put my flame tank factory? Right here. Stacking it is fine because it just goes up to two. I have no use for farm. I'm just gonna drop this. I could have upgraded powder keg. Left side is not still broken, is it? Ah, the powder keg is broken. All right. Like, once again, we land on, hey, super reinforcing your walls seems to be a good strategy. Who knew? I guess it's a good strategy to just make your walls unbreakable. Hmm. When AoE archers walk up, though, they might just break my buildings, which could be awkward. I guess we'll see. But I feel like this is the most strong we've been, like, basically ever. For this defensive, or this drawing studio here. Double, double land tax plus silent is looking pretty good. I feel like Fire Rat is just in this deck to be removed or like discarded for the purposes of reinforce. And yeah, I'm gonna target fire those. A nice bit of knockback. Uh, I'll put flame tanks here because I feel like this side's weaker. All of my cheese markets are done. Here comes the cheese, baby! Oh yeah, so this is two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. So I need to, uh, you know, I need to play all of these, I guess. Oh wait, no, I'm always gonna hit reinforce. I may as well just take my money here. Look at the cheese. Look at that. That's money right there, baby. That's all it takes. You just gotta get a million cheese markets, and then it's a good building for you. Nothing to remove at this point. The silent is the way that, or the reason that we're so strong right now as well. Being able to go through the seven card deck is strong. Another masonry, another oil storage. Design drawing is pretty sweet. Here, being able to duplicate something like cloaking station, something like there's a lot of good duplicates here. I'll upgrade it. Eighty seconds, yeah. I have to plan a little bit. I'm just looking for the Earthquaker. I think Earthquaker and we win for sure. And I think I can just fit it over here. So let's start rolling for it. Ballista. Hmm. 
Too bad I can't play this. I have nowhere to put it. I guess I could put it here. It's kind of like Earthquaker. It's not that good though. I just have nowhere to place it, unfortunately. This is this is the exact reason that I'm wishing we could do uh, do some other stuff here, right? I wish I could just remove some of this shit. Let's go stack this masonry. And I'll stack this oil storage. Because I'm out of space. I want to leave this space open. Where is my oil storage? Right here. It looks like they will hit the, the watchtower, but they won't hit the flame tower, which is fine. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, are the... Oh, God, they're not getting hit. The flame tower is just missing them. Oh, jeez. Well, this is unfortunate that it's not quite hitting here. You hate to see it. You dislike to observe it, I would even go so far as to say. No, I can do this. Oh, that's the drawing studio. Ah, shit, I've cloned the wrong building. <sighs> yeah, this is tough. Now we just hopefully break it. But yeah, the fire was just not quite large enough. Random legendary building. Take more wave period. I don't think we're going to expand much more, unfortunately. Just because if I expand, I'm just gonna, like, what am I gonna do? I, the answer is not much. Take territory expansion. All right, drawing studio, give me one Earthquaker, please. And that's a trebuchet. I, I'm out of space, so I can't really work with these buildings that they're offering me here. I will just upgrade, because we're gonna, I guess we're gonna play around fire as our long term here. Need to pick up some repair rats or something. Throw a house here. I don't think I have anywhere else to play this house, I might just be removing it. Okay. Time Tank Factory is doing okay. They're just, they're so expensive, right? It's, it's so much time to get these units down. But when you get there, they really do put some results up for you here. I gotta say. Pretty happy with the with the aftermath. Trebuchet Library, Fire Station, Warren. I guess it's just no space, right? Can't do anything here. I'm leaving the space open for Earthquakers. Yeah. These, you can see the Flame Tank's big flaw, right? The, we already lost two of them and it's only been one wave. Vine Launcher, ain't it? Remove this house because I don't have space for it. Draw. I guess design drawing isn't that good. Hmm. I can like dupe this thing to upgrade it. What we're looking at here, I suppose. And we want to be upgrading this wall. Let me go ahead and we uh, yeah. Take our money here. This is the strongest our income has ever looked, I gotta say. Feels pretty good. I guess we can just use design drawing as a way to upgrade all of the buildings in the colony, huh? We can just then stack this drawing studio like this. But the left side feels a little scary. I think the right side's okay. I guess we'll see. Should be using the trebuchet a little more. Like that is a pretty good use of it, I would argue. If we had a way to repair these walls, I'd be pretty happy. Although, I think the only thing we can get that would really repair the wall is like... Uh, what is that building called? Or it's not a building, it's a one-cost skill. Repair machine, I think it is. We need to find that if we can. Ah, the frog. They're gonna break through me here. I guess we'll have to trebuchet the big stack. Which is fine. Another I've been offered like four trebuchets and none of this fucking Earthquaker. I'm begging you. I'm gonna keep leveling up my ability. Keep looking for it. Keep looking for it. You gotta show it to me eventually. I guess you don't have to. I'll take re uh, Masterpiece. Masterpiece on the Flame Tank Factory sounds cool. Okay, we got the second cloaking station. If Earthquaker's a three space building, I'm fucked, by the way. But I hope it isn't. I think it's two space. Ammo Depot. I don't think I can play Ammo Depot here. I don't think I have the space for it. We're very tightly packed here. Very, very tightly packed in here. I guess I'll duplicate, like, Watchtower to upgrade it, you know? It's fine. We're gonna drop a level 5 blueprint here pretty soon. 
Oh yeah, I should just put these over here. I should have played Masterpiece on that. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, trebuchet time. Oh yeah. That's pretty good. Upgrade this bad boy. Upgrade this bad boy. And play. I should just go for five here. Didn't hit it still. One day. One day. We'll get there. And take these upgrades where we can find them though. What? Let's build. Oh, probably because they're uh, breaking in. Oh, by the way, am I just dead? Hmm. That's odd. Alright, uh, you know, I guess I should've been- Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god, the cloaking station is in range to cloak my walls. Ah! <laughs> I fucking hate this game. Oh. That's so dumb, man. That's so dumb. The cloaking station really is a- Ugh. I'm gonna try and buy enough time for High Priestess to clear two waves, but I think that's just gonna be death. Oh my god, I can't believe that. Didn't even look like it was in range. Ugh. The second run of this to die like that. Let me just pass this chest. Can't believe that. Fucking stealth my 4,000 health wall. Well, if I don't, I mean, it's a pretty straightforward run now, right? If the next shop has a way to stop this, we're fine. And if it doesn't, the run is over. Like, I just, why would you ever want to stealth your wall? This is the question I want to ask you. In what universe do you want to stealth a wall? Hmm? Why is this a mechanic? I wonder if it's just an oversight. I was hoping I could hold out long enough to get one more wave. Oh, maybe I can. Nope. Oh, unfortunate. Wave period, please. <laughs> we have a small amount of time to find us something that fixes this. A very, very small amount of time to fix this. I need a building destruction card. Fishery, give me demolish. Oh, another powder keg. I suppose. It's like building destruction card or bust. Or they could just come from the right side for the rest of the game. I would also do it. Oh, these are worthless. How have I not seen a single fucking Earthquaker, man? This is so crazy. It's so crazy to me that I haven't seen one of these yet. 12, 2, 10. These guys are animals. Like, they're very large. Maybe they'll work. It's just, it's so sad. It's so frustrating. It's so... Whatever word you want to use to describe my feelings right now. Irritating. It's another like, oops, I've spent the entire run looking for one building. Haha, <laughs> I hope I find it. <laughs> and like, these are the runs that feel frustrating in this game, really. Everything feels so fine except for no earthquake. Or... And also, you know, now that I have recognized that the cloaking station is killing me. That's also not ideal, I would argue. Three range. One, two, I guess this is three. If I can't argue. Oh, hey, I'm just dead. Mm. Alright, well, it didn't matter anyway. I just died. Cool, cool. We're free. Maybe we can reinforce this wall enough. <laughs> no. Uh, maybe we can move these. I don't know how fast they are. But maybe they can get over here in time to fix it. It's not a run that I feel too sad about, right? Because, like, it's a very straightforward, hey, I need Earthquake or or else sort of run. Everything's set up for it, and the or else has come, and I didn't get Earthquake. Let's see if these guys can pump out enough damage to wipe this wave. Obviously, the next wave is just going to kill me, but... No. Oh, and there, it's just going to die to Archers, yeah. God, fuck this game mode. Like, I said at the start, like, oh, man, no no frustration, no salt, but also, like, God, that's such a... That's such a mechanic. Like, this... Ugh. Stop making me cloak my walls. Ugh. Ugh. Probably would have won without that, too. Too bad. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.